Wubla Lotak, Kanwik Pizzi. Today is Monday. What day? All day. Let's be responsible. Always try, do our best, cooperate with each other. Let's treat everyone with respect, including ourselves. Well, before we go any further, let's go over what we're going to cover today in this assembly. First off, we have a new student of the week. After that, we're going to talk about timelining. And finally, we're going to talk about eligibility. We're going to focus on today, February 6th, which is mid-quarter eligibility, and March 3rd, which will be the next end-of-quarter eligibility. Without further ado, we are going to dive into our Husky of the Week. Before we reveal our elementary Husky of the Week, here are some trivia facts about the student. So, some facts about our Husky of the Week. The student has one sibling who happens to be in high school. They like to learn new things when they come to school. Their favorite thing to do is play Roblox. Their favorite food is fried chicken. Their favorite movie is Minions. Their favorite book is See the Cat by David La Rochelle. Their favorite color is green. Their favorite clothing color is blue. They often like to wear a blue sweater when they're at school. They want to be an engineer when they grow up. If they could fly or turn invisible, they would be able to turn invisible. And if they could go anywhere in the world, they would go to Disneyland. Can you guess who this student is? Oh, and there's just one more fact. This student used to live in the Pearl of the South, someplace in the Philippines. Can you guess who our elementary Husky Student of the Week is? Teachers, you can pause for a minute and let your students discuss. Did anyone guess? That's right. Our elementary Husky of the Week from kindergarten is Gio Peely. Congratulations, Gio. And if anyone sees Gio this week, don't be afraid to say congrats. And now we dive into timelining. So today... We're going to talk about what timelining is, and tomorrow we'll dive head first into a timelining example. In short, timelining is a tool that organizes information and is used to describe the order in which events happened. So, for example, here is one timeline. That we can see that in 2010, this baby's born. In 2012, they start to walk and talk. 2013, they began preschool. In 2015, they played their first basketball game. And in 2017, they visited the cousin in Anchorage for July 4th. This is the perfect time to turn to your partner and talk about three events that happened in your life and you could timeline them from when they first began. So teachers, if you want to pause and let your students do this, this is a great opportunity. Don't worry, we'll do more timelining tomorrow. We'll have some more examples that we'll be able to work together on. For now, we're going to move on to eligibility. So this is more for students in grades 6 to 12. This is a reminder for our students in grades 6 through 12. Today is February 6th, and that means mid-quarter 3 eligibility will be posted today. You'll be able to find this in either the high school hallway or, and this is if you're in 6th grade, you'll find it posted next to the office window. Next, the next four-week eligibility check will be March 3rd. That is roughly four weeks away, and that will be the end of quarter three. Thank you, and everyone have a magnificent Monday.